We're just learning that a memo released by a local school superintendent means some Bay Area schools will not have to close their doors. This comes after one local school district's reserve fund fell millions of dollars short of state requirements. Our James Jackson tells us about its plan to recover. It's frustrating. Katrina Perriman's kids go to G.D. Rogers Garden Elementary School in Bradenton. She just learned the school district's reserved fund was more than $6 million short of state conditions. They're supposed to have a budget set out for everything the kids need. We pay our taxes and they still don't have enough money for the, but the schools. District officials say this marks the third year the district has not met state terms. They say the financial issues started when software put in place to help keep track of new hires in the budget stopped working. It makes me very angry to think that employees suffered, um, classroom funds were cut, so we're, we're where we are now. My question is how do we move forward? To move forward, Manatee County School Superintendent Rick Mills has a new fix, bringing in a transition team to come up with an economic recovery plan. The plan's goal is to avoid the possibility of closing schools, which wouldn't sit well with parents. Then you have to find another school and go through the whole process again, and it's just a lot of hassle. But district representatives say it's much too early to know for sure what will happen. Superintendent Mills says his team is expected to have an economic recovery plan put together by June. Reporting for Manatee County, I'm James Jackson, ABC Action News.